Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, got some very, very sad breaking news coming out of the United States, and I really don't know what to make of it as of right now. And uh, we're going to be going to other news as well here in just a moment here. But uh, of course, this news is breaking all over the world right now. A shooting at the Fort Lauderdale airport that has taken place this evening. According to RT and other news reports, the BBC, Fox News, etc., they are all saying that uh, as of right now, the reports are conflicting as far as three to five people have been killed. Uh, there is also uh, conflicting reports that is either either a lone gunman that has already been uh, apprehended or multiple gunmen. Um, but um, there, there's, there is different photographs of people being shot there. Uh, it was a, a supposedly a military guy, former military guy, uh, that, uh, that shot these people. Uh, in, in one report here, in this particular image here in the baggage claim department, there are two people that are already shot dead laying on the ground. Both of them, or at least one of them, appears to be a headshot uh, in the process. Very kind of odd, though, to me. Um, the, the way the set setup is right now, from what I am seeing, uh, the only people that you see panicking and crying are the people over their uh, loved ones there. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. I'm sure that many people are probably going to think that this is a staged event, uh, but I have no idea myself. One thing that I do find that was very odd and unusual about this particular uh, shooting event that is going on that is still unfolding, we were actually on the uh, radio program when the story broke. I actually saw it as I was going on with Bonnie uh, on uh, Flashpoint on Hebrew Nation Radio there when I when I saw this story breaking. So we spoke about it there. Of course, it already be two days old when that airs on Sunday um, in, in the United States on the radio there. But what really troubled me, though, was um, Paul Bagley was reporting this uh, live uh, on YouTube. And uh, I just happened to catch him after the broadcast. He's on Periscope. And he was claiming that what happened uh, in where he was at, that pretty much everybody that was carrying this event live were shut down suddenly. In fact, when I was listening to uh, Brother Begley there on Periscope there, he actually said that uh, his internet, everything went down on him. Uh, he couldn't get back online or anything. And he was, him and uh, Heidi were following two different people that were claiming to be at the airport, including one person that claimed to be an employee of the airport, that were stating uh, they were there and they were shut down while they were feeding live from the airport of what was going on. Now that just really sends a lot of questions. In fact, one person that, uh, that Paul and Heidi were listening to there uh, was stating that not only uh, did you know it was there a gunman loose in the airport, but he saw multiple Russians running by. Now, really and truly, I want to know myself: How do you know they're Russians to begin with? You know, it, it's concerning to me that they were shutting down independent media that was running this this program live and what they were seeing, uh, and and yet the only ones that are being allowed to run their broadcast pretty much live unhindered is mainstream media. Uh, including both Russian, American, and European media. Is there going to be something that's a cover-up on this? Are they afraid that someone might get something out with as many people that were in the airport that were able to do this either on Periscope or, or live stream or whatever, but they were showing things that maybe they did not want anybody to know about? I'm very concerned, and one of my main reasons that I'm concerned about what is going on here is because Obama only has a couple weeks left in office. Could this be another staged event? Uh, that you, in order to be able to do something to stop President-elect uh, Donald Trump from taking office. I don't know. I'm not going to come to any conclusions on this. Uh, as far as I can tell, it does seem that this is a, 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 a very serious situation of people being shot there uh, and killed. But what is really going on is beyond me. This is a video that was tweeted out. And let me just let you see this here. This tweeted out here on Twitter, uh, excuse me, on uh, on RT's news, but it was a Twitter video, and uh, just so you can get a get a little feel of what's going on here uh, in this video here. I've got so many people making comments; it's hard to get the thing started. 
So bear with me just one second. Their comments are coming up faster than I can play it. Actually, it looks like three people are, are there shot there. Again, though, I don't know what to make of this. I do see three people on the floor there. Uh, in one area there, it is a huge pool of blood in behind on this victim here. Um, but, you know, guys, I, I honestly and truly, I do not know what to make of this situation. Uh, is this real? I think that this person here makes a statement that there's shell casings all around. I don't know. I just don't know. Very, very sad situation uh, indeed, especially uh, if this is what it appears to be, a, a, real, a real event there. Uh, do, we will be praying for those that have lost their, uh, their loved ones in this attack here. Um, no doubt the state of Florida reeling from such an attack and uh, of course here again the title here says multiple shooters reported at Fort Lauderdale Airport so I'm still not sure of what's really going on trying to again trying to get a grip of what's happening with this situation um, anyway guys also uh, let me take you over here to another issue that's going on that I wanted to share with you here on already happened on his uh, on his Twitter account here uh, he was sharing an, another um, movement of 4,000 US troops to Europe uh, so it will be deployed there in the coming days that also by the way uh, those of you may remember we reported on all the vehicles all the tanks and different things that have been shipped uh, to Europe here in January. Uh, in fact, he uh, already happened to also notice that as well. 4,000 soldiers and 2,000 vehicles are going from the U.S. to Europe. Uh, and this was one of the ships here that began loading. They just loaded this a few minutes ago. Uh, began uh, unloading U.S. tanks and self-propelled howitzers and hundreds of other vehicles uh, in the northern German port of Bremerhaven. Brum and the thing is, is all this equipment is uh, painted in the desert uh, colored uh, scheme. Going to a snowy area and green forest and things of that nature there. Why is so much equipment landing in Europe right now? What's going on? Is Obama looking to do something to provoke a war before Donald Trump can even get into office? We already see this major issue going to be happening in Paris, France with the United Nations meeting 70 nations there. I can only imagine it's going to be a, a madhouse there. And then we have this here. Recent satellite imagery shows a 9K720 uh, I, uh, Ikender short-range ballistic missile system deployed at Lakia Air Base in Syria by the Russians there. That's what he's showing you there on his screen right there. We just got some very serious things happening there. Uh, Michael Diaz, another uh, another uh, good uh, independent journalist there that, that, that has some very interesting things on his Twitter page a lot of times as well. Uh, he's showing the major Chinese military equipment introduced to 2016. The first, the J-20 jets, second, Y-20 transport aircraft. Also, they're doing military drills. The Chinese are doing a lot of military drills uh, up there in the northwest part of uh, China. More than 30 ceasefire violations occurred, by the way, on the contact line in uh, Novoron uh, Karbaka last night, including with grenade launchers in the north there. Um, it's just, it's just, you're really getting serious, friends. Very serious, the things that are happening. And I'm just watching it closely to see what uh, President Obama is planning on doing here this last uh, few days here in office. I don't know what to expect, what to think, um, and of course Trump, another article just now broke since we've been here on, on the news here, meeting with Intel officials, constructive hacking had absolute no effect on the elections is what uh, Trump is saying after he met with the officials, uh, but nonetheless Obama is planning on doing one last effort to send a payback message to Russia before he leaves office there. So, 
Very serious things happening all over the world. News breaking everywhere. It seems like there's never uh, hardly any good news whatsoever. You know, one thing I might encourage you, though, things like that get you down and get you all depressed and everything. Go out and go out to nature somewhere and enjoy the nature that even though all the evil is happening in the world today, at least they can show us that there is some peace and serenity somewhere in the world. I'm going to be doing a little bit more broadcasts this weekend. I want to be sharing with you those, uh, especially on the Shabbat here. I'm going to be doing a very special message about what I feel like may be really coming to this earth here in the very near future and what you can do to prepare yourself for the evils of Satan and the entities that he has in the making for this earth and how we can overcome that. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Here